another edition of Tiffin Cast. I'm your host, Seishu. Today we have a photographer, a wedding photographer based in Seattle, whose name is Daniel Yusenko. Now, Daniel uh, is not just a photographer, he's also an entrepreneur. And um, recently he just launched uh, a product called Smart Albums. I'm sure some of you have heard of it. But today I wanted to talk to Daniel about what Smart Albums is all about and what it means to you, whether you're a wedding photographer or a portrait photographer. So, Daniel, Welcome to the show. Hello, nation. <laughs> <laughs> Thanks for joining us. Um, I, you know, it's interesting that you've you've jumped into this uh, sphere of creating albums and and creating a tool for creating albums. I guess. Um, what prompted you? What motivated you to to do that? Well, you know, I wish I had like a really interesting uh, answer. Like I had all these problems with albums, and then decided to make my own, which is a lot what a lot of people say which to be honest, to me doesn't seem very truthful. Uh, to me, what happened was a friend of mine, who's also a photographer, had this idea about three years ago, and he came up to me and said, hey, you know, you're good at branding and you're good at like business stuff, you know, maybe we can do this together. So the initial idea wasn't mine at all, and I'm just very fortunate to be part of the team now, and uh, you know, it went from meeting at Starbucks every Saturday and sketching things to like, me working you know, 18 hours for the last two weeks uh, per day. So, uh, yeah, like the reason I'm doing it is because basically, like right now, I just love technology. I love helping people and I love photography. And mm -hmm. this is a way for it all to be, uh, you know, come together as one. And uh, it's been super, super fun. So even though maybe the beginning hasn't been like, uh, as most people imagine, but like now it's just uh, really a dream come true. Like I love what I do. Excellent. So you've got a uh, a launch special going on right now, and we'll talk about that in a bit. But uh, right now the the Smart Albums is in beta, correct? Yes. And it should be launched or will be launched uh, in full, I guess, in a, about two or three weeks. I'm yeah, assuming? December tw December twenty sixth is when the official release is. Okay. But we do have already uh, over 500 beta users that have been making albums, so it's fully functional. We just want to get rid of all the bugs. Sure. And it's it's been in beta for now about two months now, okay. so okay. we're really focusing on making it uh, bug-free. Bug yeah. Indeed. Um, I've had a chance to play with it as a beta user as well, and um, I was pleasantly surprised by how easy it is to create layouts um, and have choices and options in terms of, you know, if I didn't want to have, let's say, um, you know, a two up and two down on, on a page, I can always click a button and and the program automatically sort of refreshes and brings you up, uh, uh, you know, different options so you can display your images across or top to bottom or whatever. Um, that seems like a, a, a departure from what a lot of uh, other uh, products out there do, uh, mm -hmm. only that uh, you've also, you've sort of let the computer or the, let the program decide on what to do next with the pictures, mm -hmm. you know, in the sense, you know, it, it, what's the, what's, what is your motivation for the end user in a way? Is it, is it to sort of relinquish control to a certain extent or is it to, um, to, to, to relieve a, a photographer from the, uh, from the, from the absolute onus of trying to create an album, which takes so much time sometimes. Mm -hmm. What is, what is, what is your... This, yeah, to answer the question, you know, a lot of time is spent, like in the traditional way of making an album, a lot of time is spent not working with the images, like selecting images and seeing which images go well together, but most of the time was spent making the actual design, like lining things up, sizing them, and, you know, making sure gaps are equal and all of that. So we don't limit you as a creative person. We just do all the hard work of creating the actual collage and what we do is uh, like all of the templates all of the layouts are all handmade like they are not made by a computer uh, it I mean we made them by, you know ourselves and so it's not like a computer just spits random things out and like you just say oh you know maybe this will work like we have I mean we have made a lot of effort to make them look really really nice and make sure like all the gaps are perfect everything's super aligned like it's just like we went I mean, we spent a lot of effort there. So basically to the user, you know, we give um, the ability to be creative as far as like picking images, being 
experimental like let's see if i can throw these five in what if you know i include that other one and like see the possibilities very quickly so that the user the photographer is just deciding on like the best version of okay i was told to be quieter <laughs> i'm at a library and they told me don't yell i just get excited about all this stuff um anyways without yelling i'm very excited <laughs> i can tell yeah, basically, like I said, uh, we want the user to focus on picking the images, not lining them up, which is what usually took most of the time. Okay, so you've got um, beta users. You said we have 500 beta users, all, all reporting back with bugs, and it should be bug-free on December 26th. So I'm looking forward to that launch date. Uh, right now, you've got a special Cyber Monday or Black Friday special that you're offering it for $199. Uh, is the is the final price going to be two ninety nine? And you, is that is that right? Or is it? Yeah, the final it, price is two ninety nine. Okay. And for uh, from fi Black Friday to Cyber Monday, we're doing one ninety nine okay. pre order special. Okay. Um, yeah. Okay. So uh, I'm I'm assuming uh, I'm hoping that a lot of people will take advantage of that because um, it is a phenomenal savings right there. Yeah. That said, I think most people would want to still want to try it out. So is are you still opening? up seats for beta testing do you have that option available for people who uh, want to so we have a long waiting list we have hundreds of people on the waiting list and because of the way things are going we're not allowing new people onto the waiting list okay uh, on, onto the testing but what we're doing is if uh, someone does buy for 199 right now we're going to give them early beta access on december 5th which means they'll receive a, the beta product and they'll be able to you know it's a full product they can build albums with it and if before December 26 they decide that actually they don't like you know the software then they can request a refund so okay. in a way we're giving you know three weeks free trial kind of excellent uh, so, yeah good okay so you've got people jumping in and, and giving it a shot um, on, on Facebook uh, today uh, several people have asked me about smart albums when I mentioned that I was going to speak to you today uh, several more people came up and asked me a few questions. So if you don't mind if I ask you. Sure, um, yeah. uh, one of the things that they, w one of them uh, wondered was about upgrades. How are the upgrades going to work? Uh, if someone buys uh, smart albums today, um, the question is, uh, essentially a year from now, are you going to ask them or expect them to uh, upgrade to the next level or, or the next upgrade level? Or how is that going to work? So... Um there are, since this are you know one point version, even though it's completely functional and everything, there are things that people want that are not in there yet. Uh, so we hope to maybe mid two thousand fourteen. I mean we're not sure, but around then have a one point one version that will have uh, some of the features that have been requested to add. Um, so that one will be free for the upgrade, uh, and it'll include most of the stuff that people have been asking for. For when we do have Smart Albums 2.0, which I do have no idea when that'll be, uh, obviously the upgrades will be, uh, the features added will be a lot more substantial, so it'll be a standard uh, upgrade model. I mean, I'm not, I can't say right now how much it'll be, but I'm guessing anywhere from a fifth to a fourth or a third of the software cost. I mean, I, I really can't say right now because I don't know myself. Okay, okay, that's fair enough. Uh, the other question I received uh, was about templates. Uh, the, the questioner asks, uh, you know, not everyone likes the, the clean look or uses a clean look that um, a Smart Albums obviously has. Uh, some people like to overlap photos and collage them and things like that. Uh, will there be more template options available in the future? And are, are people going to have to buy those template templates? Mm -hmm. The answer is basically... Um, well, first, uh, it's hard to make everybody happy, especially when you work on a template-based system. We do have literally hundreds of thousands of uh, templates, uh, but um, at the, right, like you said, at the moment they're all like very modern and clean, which we feel appeals to uh, most photographers. But I mean, obviously, we can't make everybody happy, and we understand that. You know, we we can't tailor to everybody. So, yes, we there will be more templates in the future. Um, I, we probably, again, I don't know because we haven't made plans exactly, but in most, um, uh, 
probably we, we won't be selling them but uh maybe other photographers um you know can make a template library or something and then somehow we can include their templates into our so like i mean those are just ideas that have been thrown around uh by our users mm -hmm. you know basically the question is how do we get more templates in yep. to make everybody happy gotcha. so the answer is i don't know <laughs> okay uh, but i can promise that the same people that have worked on the software to get it up to this point We'll be more working to improve it and including more templates is just another thing that people have requested and we are taking you know the feedback and we're gonna produce um, you know something that people will be amazed by in the future excellent good um, the next question is uh, a bit of a doozy but um, and it's only because of, because Andrew Funderberg is a friend of mine mm -hmm. um, this question comes from uh, the same forum that I was in before mentioned before and the question is, how do you compare to Fundy's album builder? What is it? What is it that makes Smart Albums so different from Fundy's album builder or uh, Queensberry's Photo Junction or uh, you know, just anything out there that's that's sort of doing the same thing, which is to create albums for wedding photographers and portrait photographers. Mm -hmm. I think as far as uh, Fundy goes, like we have a lot of respect for them. We consider them the leader uh, in uh, the. Um, the album building um, market. Um, you could also say that InDesign could be the leader, but they don't really target photographers like outright, just photographers have adapted InDesign uh, to use it. So um, in that sense, it's a very, very different software. Um, for one, Fundy is a plugin, uh, Fundy Album Builder uh, is, the pl is a plugin for Photoshop, which uses Photoshop uh, to build the layouts. While um, Smart Albums is a completely standalone system that works without Photoshop. And so we know that more and more people are moving away from Photoshop and are using Lightroom. So this allows them to not purchase uh, the subscription to uh, Photoshop and just use our software outright. Um, another thing that we pride ourselves on, just in comparison to all the other um, builders, is we make it all about making it easy I mean not not like not like uh, you know childish easy where you have zero options and it's just very like plain but we try to do as much work for you as possible like one example would be we have face recognition uh, in our software so that when an image is cropped with uh, a square let's say it's you know it's a person standing it wouldn't show the torso but it would move the image down to show the face because the software knows that the face is up top so just small things like that you know like if we're talking about InDesign a lot of people have templates and most of the time that goes into designing albums in InDesign is searching for the templates like I have two verticals and three horizontals and then I spend five minutes searching for that one template that may look good you know well if with us even though we have templates, you don't have to search for them. You just throw them onto the page, and the software not only finds the template, but inserts the images into the uh, openings. And then, if you don't like what you see, you just click next, and you see like a completely different layout. You know, on average, for let's just say like four images, you'll probably be able to have at least 50 different combinations that you can cycle through in literally like less than a minute because it's so fast. So I think. Every software has its um, strong sides and weak points. Um, so our like, strong side is the fact that it's easy, and with that, it's fast. Um, so yeah. Excellent. Um, what about what about the exporting of JPEGs? Is it is it only limited to JPEGs? Um, one of the other questions is, um, how do I keep files in an unflattened format like PST? Mm -hmm. Is PST export in the future plans? How about TIFF support? Uh, I haven't used TIFF in many, many years, but um, PSD is something that I use even today, and you know it helps me to go back to uh, a, a st status of a, of a file that sort of can be reworked on multiple times and then then saved out to JPEGs and you know. Yeah. So what what are what are your plans for uh, giving us the option of either producing or exporting out to a PSD, or uh, is it just going to be JPEG based? Mm -hmm. So, um, uh, first, I understand the limitations. Some people want, you know, TIFF or PSD or PDF or InDesign. 
and uh, those are the that is the feedback that we've received and we're taking it seriously like I said um, we are gonna do our best to include those in the future uh, I don't I can't say for sure because I don't know the amount of coding it takes like whether we can do it right all that stuff so besides that we also have another maybe a hundred things that we want to do uh, so I don't know w you know which things are gonna be given priority mm -hmm. Uh, and, re, you know, we'd love to include everything um, but and make it still simple and easy. So the answer is, I you know, we understand the limitation. Um, I think for 90% of tariffs, it's not a problem because, for instance, the way I do it is if, let's say, I made a draft of the album, showed it to my couple, and they said, okay, this is, this is it, you know, I want this, and I decided to edit some of the photos, what I do is I just edit the originals that were first imported into smart albums. I edit those, save them, and then tell smart albums to reload from the originals so the album gets updated with all the edited photos. So in essence, you're not, you know, you're, I mean, yes, it's JPEG export, but it doesn't mean that you cannot edit the original files. You can still edit those. Excellent, okay. Um, I'm gonna keep playing with uh, the beta version that you uh, set me up with, and I thank you for that. Um, Daniel, it's been a pleasure. Thanks for joining me for this quick chat about smart albums. I know there's many more questions that will be coming up, and I'll be sure to either email you or we can set up another time to chat again about uh, how things have progressed since uh, you've launched uh, and going from beta to 1.0 uh, at the end of December. Um, thanks a lot for your time. Thank you. Thank you. Take care. Bye.